So we will discuss here something a reaction that is called ring test or brown ring test. So this reaction is related to brown ring test. So this is also called ring test or some people call this a brown ring test. Either you can call this as a brown ring test. The color is brown and that's why this is called brown ring test. And why this is, what this reaction does, so what, what this test is used for. So this test is used, so this test is used to detect, so this test is used to detect either NO3 minus or HNO3. So if your solution contains either HNO3, HNO3 or NO3 minus, basically HNO3 will give you H plus and NO3 minus. So uh, strictly uh, speaking, I, I am saying something about NO3 minus. So your mixture or your salt contains NO3 minus. This test can be used. So if you have a salt and this salt contains NO3 minus, then I can detect whether this salt has NO3 minus or not using the ring test or brown ring test. So we can perform ring test. What we do in the ring test, so this is your salt and we add in salt freshly prepared FeSO4. So we add some FeSO4. So this is freshly prepared FeSO4. So now we have a solution, salt plus FeSO4, this solution. And now we slowly pour H2SO4 from the salt. So we pour H2SO4. How we do? We'll discuss. We add H2SO4. So I have a finally a brown complex is formed, a brown ring is formed. So a brown ring is formed. A brown ring is formed. So a brown ring is formed. And that's why this test is called brown ring test. What are the reaction involved? If I write reaction involved, so these are the reactions. Now you have FeSO4. So your solution contains FeSO4, NNO3 and H2SO4, the three things. So first, this NNO3, so let us say my salt is NNO3 because NA plus NO3 minus, I need NO3 minus, so I have NNO3. So let us take my salt as NNO3. So I have NNO3 and this reacts first with H2SO4 and this reaction is easy, simply H plus, this H2SO4 loses 1H plus and this NO3 minus takes 1H plus. So this is a transfer of H plus, so you will have HNO3, one product. And then this H plus goes with HSO4 minus goes with Na plus. So you will have NaHSO4. So this is another product you will have. Now this product basically now HNO3 and NHSO4 you have. So in the next step this FeSO4 react with HNO3 plus H2SO4 and this forms a complex uh, no not complex next step it has a complex Fe2SO4 whole thrice plus NO is released then the medium is acid SS, acidic medium basically you also have H2 now this reaction, this is the important reaction, you see this is the oxidation reduction reaction. So what is happening, you have Fe2 plus this side, so iron you have in Fe2 plus form, here you have iron in Fe3 plus form. So you can see this Fe2 plus are going to Fe3 plus, so one half you have this. On another half you see this NO3 minus, here you have H plus NO3 minus and here you have, you know, so this is a basically NO3 going to NO and now you can balance so this is your task you balance these equations and if you balance the coefficient will be 6 FeSO4 so for FeSO4 coefficient will be 6 and for HNO3 coefficient will be 2 for H2SO4 coefficient will be 3 and Fe2SO4 whole thrice again coefficient will be 3 and NO coefficient will be 2 and for H2O coefficient will be 4. So this is your task. This is the balance. So you have a half reaction to balance yourself. Now the third step you have NO and now 
there is a complex formation so you have SpSO4 plus NO and this reacts and this forms a complex FeSO4 and O uh, basically I have to write NO first so this forms a complex FeNOSO4 and this complex is brown ring so this complex is brown ring this is ferrous nitroso sulfate if you want you can write the name of this so this is ferrous nitroso sulfate nitroso sulfate now this is brown in color so this is brown are you getting or not so this is brown in color and that's why the whole reaction is called brown ring test so this is brown ring so this is the brown ring you will have are you getting or not so this is all about the reaction the fastest step is nothing but h plus migration you can call so you see the fastest step you have h plus is changing from here to here and the second step is redox reaction in which fe2 plus goes to fe3 plus and no 3 minus goes to no and the third step is complex formation reaction in which feso4 react with no that is generated so you see this no is coming from no 3 minus and so you have a brown ring so let us watch this reaction so what we are doing is uh, this reaction is used to test no 3 minus so let us say i am taking hno3 so this bottle contains hno3 so you have a bottle this bottle contains hno3 So we are taking some of the nitric acid from that bottle and putting into the uh, test tube and dilute it with some freshly prepared water and then add some FeSO4 that we have said in the first reaction we have to add some FeSO4 so you see uh, we said early we have to some FeSO4 so we are adding some SPSO4 here so this contains FeSO4 so let us add some FeSO4. So this I am preparing FeSO4 solution. So this solution is FeSO4 freshly prepared FeSO4 solution. Now pour this freshly prepared solution FeSO4 into the initial mixture or initial salt. Now we have to pour H2SO4 gently from the side. So you see we have a test tube. We will pour H2SO4 from the ball side. So we will pour H2SO4 from this ball side. Are you getting or not? So let us pour H2SO4. So this bottle contains H2SO4. So we are taking some of the H2SO4 and putting inside this solution. This solution contains nitrate and FeSO4. So H2SO4 is basically heavier. That's why this goes at the bottom. You see, uh, you will also have some brown ring. So you see this brown ring is formed. So this brown ring. This brown ring is due to the FeSO4 NO, so that is the complex. Are you getting or So you see, we have already said HNO3 oxidizes because HNO3 is an oxidant acid. HNO3 itself reduces and ferrous, uh, ferrous goes to ferric. This we have said. And finally, we have a complex that is formed. So the NO formed react with FeSO4 and another important point this brown ring that is formed it is unstable. So if you see this test tube for a long time this brown ring will go away. So you see this brown ring was initially there at the junction now this whole reason and now this brown ring has gone. So this is basically unstable. So this is all about this brown ring.